Father's house. Gosh, now I think it's about 2018, yeah, so three years ago. And, um, and, and since then, now the girl is like full-time Bible college. I mean, she is rocking and rolling. And, and what's cool is just God has grabbed a hold of her heart, as he does, in such a beautiful, incredible, freeing, liberating, powerful ways. And Jen has just been transformed before our very eyes. And so I'm going to let her tell a story about what God's done in her and how that's um, led over to Ms. Holly on the left of you. So. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Is this on? Yeah. Okay, so in order to do that, it's leaning into him and trusting him mm -hmm. rather than um, striving myself to do what it is I think I need to do, right? So um, I don't want this, though, to be about me. I want it to be about Holly because this is the, the real story. My part in it is I just stepped into what um, I believe Papa's plans are for me. I don't know quite yet, but it is so exciting to um, witness it firsthand with Holly. So let's just start. You tell the story and then a little bit more to say after that. Okay. Um, so um, first of all, it's definitely God's story, I would say. Yeah. For sure. Um, but <laughs> I started Father's House, uh, I guess we're getting ready to be in our classroom, having our lunch, and I had finished my lunch and just, I was actually sitting beside Jen, and I turned like this and kicked my legs out. Because my knees, like, they really bother, used to bother me. <laughs> um, and so I told her that. I said, I said, sorry, I'm like all up in your business because I, um, my knees, they just kill me. So, um, so anyway, she was, so Beth Locker, I don't know if y'all know her, was sitting across from me. She looked at Jen, she pointed at Jen, and she said, Jen. And Jen said, yes. <laughs> 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 She still had her hands on my knees, and she just said, repeat after me. And so I did. I repeated all the things that she said. And I am not joking when I say this, and I have never experienced anything like this. This is not something that happens to me, like, I've, I've, I mean, up until now. Um, and y'all, I got up, and, you know, we finished, and, like, my, my knees, even still, I mean, they do not hurt. Like, it, it was instant healing. This does not happen to me. <laughs> and, but it does, because I was willing to receive what God had for me. And it was absolutely amazing. I was so giddy. <laughs> I was literally excited and happy. And that next day, um, I think that night. Yeah, that night, Wednesday night. Yeah, oh yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday night. Yeah, we, we were actually at church together. And I said to myself, I'm going to sit like this the whole time. Make sure my knees are really are. <laughs> Jen, Beth, but listen to what, I mean, God put on their heart immediately. Um, 
So yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, just yeah, I'm excited for Jen too to see how many more people she's going to use. Now. <laughs> um, it was so amazing. So we're talking about you know we're coming up on the resurrection right on Easter and. One of the things I've learned through your Father's house is it's not just about you know being forgiven. He he resurrected, right? He was resurrected. He came back from the practice what what we, what we hear, right? What we know, what we know, but to really have an understanding from here and put it into practice. <laughs> Holly was the very first person. <laughs> well, now maybe the, honestly I can't remember. The <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I went in expectant yeah. that she was going to be healed. Yes. And, and she was healed. And even I was like, I was right on. But I said, oh, I'm like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> because that's how good he is. Right? That's how good he is. And each and every one of you have that resurrection power within you. And it is amazing. The doctor says you must be a holy man because you have been healed and elite. Yeah, a torn, complete torn tendon, and then another one that was partly torn. Yeah. yeah. God is so good. Yeah. So I want to read, you know, Ephesians 3.20. This is something Karen and I talked about last week still, so I want to read it again because it has to me even more meaning today. And I hope that it blesses you guys. So again, Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than all that we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, yeah. according to His power that is at work within us. Amen. To Him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all.